don't do whatever they say. When they present it, very fast. Sorry, sir. Mother, I'm at first drink food. Thank you, sister. You get Because you never can. Shh. Why are you Test it. Uh, sir? No problem, just test it. Sir, but I brought it for you before I. Test it! You want to poison me? No. Test it! I seek employment. You say they look for a job? Yes. Ah. Okay, babe, go, go. No job there for now. Okay, can I see the owner of the company? Okay, they Chris. You mean say one see uh, uh, bata bata. Yes. Let me see your boss now. What What's going on? How about who is he? I want to see one see. Good day. Good day. This is one C. I got your lead. Good day, sir. Good day, man. Young man, why do you want to see the owner of the company? My name is Imbadiwe. I seek employment. I'm just looking for a job, please. Are you the owner of the company? No, I am not. But I'm sorry. There are no vacancies at the moment, so you should go. Okay, can I at least see the owner of the company? Hey, or hey, are you hey, the owner? My friend, get lost. Didn't you hear what he said? There is no job for you, so leave. Why are you being rude? Excuse me? What's in the apple for you? What's in the apple? Why are they shot for this brother now? What's he do? Ma, this young man is looking for a job, and we told him there are no vacancies. But he's still insisting on seeing you. And I make one of the shots for them. Now one of us, one of the shots, I'm going to talk with them with a lower voice now. There is no job at the moment. So he should leave. Ah, may you go find Anna. You never check whether job there anywhere. May you go go check, go find whether I get you on our own put them. No. Madam, I'm sorry there's no job. There's no vacancy at the moment. Go search for the vacancy now. May you see whether you go see. Young man, please. Just uh, take your leave. Uh, no, 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 Can you just imagine this, this, this woman? So, what are you doing? My name is Mbappe. Okay. My name is Mbappe. Hey, you see what they do for our side? Say, walk no day. Now, true, they don't like. Walk no day anyway for inside. Everywhere don't fool. But I don't care you enter. Uh -huh. So I will find what I will give you. Uh, I will give you um, uh, that work. Wait, now you would help me. Uh, maybe I won't do anything or I get work. You would help me to do it. And that one I won't give you. You want to make me your personal assistant? Mm. That's your PA. Uh -huh. Now the name that one. Now I will make you. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you the owner of the company? Yes. Now Papa Paul. Oh. Yeah, and I'm going to give you 150,000 naira every month. 150,000 every yes, month? Yes, sir. Safe for naira? Safe, safe. Naira? No, naira. Naira? You want? Thank you. No, first, so it's small. Small, okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Why are you going to be there for me now? You must see me now. Thank you. 
you very much. I appreciate. One fifty thousand a month. I don't know if you have to see how. No, 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 no. Let me know how excited I am. That's a good one for me. Today is blessed. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. Hey, what are you going to help me do? Then they come and carry paper, they come give me, make a sign every day, carry paper, mother sign paper, sign paper. I don't sign that yet. I suppose now you go see they help me, they sign. They bring papers for me to sign. Hey, all those auntie and my brother, the boy, they work with me. Then what? they bring paper. What papers? If they plenty, oh, they say now for the work, make a sign, and start the sign now. Hey, as you come, you go help me. Let me decide. Hmm? Okay, no problem. When I say you don't work at the end, you're fine. Just tell me. So don't be that tired as they put it in the middle of this. But one more thing. Stop calling me brother. brother. You are my employer. I'm the employee. So call me by my name. Yes. Employer, employee. But you be my senior. I know if they call you your name now. No, no. I know you're not teaching me now. No, no, no. That can only work if we are blood brothers, like brother and sister. But in this case, you are my boss. So just call me over the old number. Okay, you will remember me because I'm not going to feel remember you better. Eh? If I forget to remember me. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, I come here and share with you. Thank you very much, man. I'm excited about this. Thank you. I promise to be my best on this. Yes, yeah, so shall that sign in day with that. On the ball, the truth and honest. I will do my best. Okay. I want to do it. You will see they help me this sign? Yes, sir. How dare you barge into my office without working? Don't you have common sense? Or you were not taught office ethics. I'm sorry about that. But must you be rude every now and then? Rude? I say, you know what? You will go outside and knock. And they say you should come in. Then you can come in. <laughs> Imagination won't kill this one. Listen, I'm here for. I'm in a hurry, yes. Because the child lady sent me on an errand. But before then, I need you to hand me over her schedule and everything that concerns her. In fact, whatever she has to sign must pass through me from now henceforth. So let me have the papers. So, what exactly? As a new people. You have got to. Do you know who I am? I don't care about who you are. You can't sack me. You don't have such powers. You are just an ordinary secretary. If I am just an ordinary secretary, then you are nothing but an ordinary thief. I mean, look at you. At your age. You are a peer to that, that small girl. That small girl pays your salary. I call her some respect. She's the reason you're shining. Meanwhile, I'm not here to banter words with you. You have five minutes to prepare the papers. The next time I'm stepping here, I won't be talking much. So you down. Something doesn't seem right in this office. The chair lady, the manager, and the secretary. Those two seem not to have respect for the chair lady. Is there anything they are holding against her? 
I must uncover whatever it is. Linda, why is your face like this? Are you okay? Or has anything happened again? Can you imagine that nobody? That nobody that the child lady employed barged into my office requesting for all the files that had to do with child lady. Can you imagine? Are you serious? I am very, very serious. Oh, so did you hand them over to him? Of course I had to. I mean, he said she sent him. Really? <sighs> what does an illiterate girl know? I am sure she didn't send him. He did it on his own. Can't you see? That guy is smart and has his lips full of things. Yes, I know. That's why we're here. Like, what are we going to do? We need to act fast before this guy spoils things for us. So what do you suggest? I think we have to get Chijuki and Kelichi involved in this. I mean, we need to have a meeting with them immediately. Okay. Good. Get them informed and we'll have the meeting tomorrow. Okay? I'll do that immediately. And don't worry about it, okay? I will fix it. All right then. All right. Let me inform you. <laughs> I called you all here because there is something important we need to handle. What is it? She is obviously talking about that idiot, that illiterate called our boss employed. Oh, do you mean that you right? Yes. Ah. Can you imagine that fool? Barged into my office yesterday requesting for Madame's files and shadows. Can you imagine? Oh, he has not done anything suspicious, I believe you can. Keep an eye on him. Excuse you. What can you consider? Wow. By the way, or whatever you are called, we invited you here. Take that door. Can't. Why? He said you should get out. This is not a board meeting. Can't you see we are just four here? Hey, hey, hey. Didn't you hear what he said? My friend, get out! Out! Am I not part of this organization? I'm a staff. So you have the right to chase me out of our companies. You get me more angry when you say you're a staff. You went nowhere. He said, Get out! Why are you sick? How dare you slap him? Get out! Why are you slap him? Get out! You slapped me. Are you mad? You want to get out of this place? Hey, oh! Hey, you! This guy has just touched the tiger's tail. This guy slapped me. I'll show him that no one lays his hands on me and goes out free. I'll crush him. I swear. I will crush him. I will make him understand that he can't just lay anybody's hand and go scoff free. I told you that guy has something on his sleeves against us. Oh. He just revealed it. He cannot let this slide. 
I mean, we've been here long before he came. We can't. We need to report this to that illiterate girl. What for? I mean, she's obviously the one empowering him. It's totally useless if you ask me. Of course, we need to report to her. She needs to know what happened to this office today. Oh, fine. Fine, guys. If you guys want to report, let's start going now. Because what I will teach that imbecile, I could be the Facebook like a face of people where they never pay money for one year. We are here to report that he go to employ that's your PA to you. But I don't go to the house. Oh he go. Go to enter here. What? You say I give goat work. Who I give work where they call goat? Who be goat? He is obviously referring to Mbadi Way, non score. You say who goes for your head? What did he do? Before you rudely interrupted me, we were having a meeting on how to improve this great empire. And the next day, Mbadi <coughs> came in. He just bashed into the office like a cat and started fighting us. I even beat us up. For what? Hmm. We gave you hero for inside this office. He could do. He beat him too now. He he could. He could be okay that kind of person now. Huh? If uh, people carry job on, then we won't do any help. We will see who will fight us. Yeah? Maybe you can't handle it. We will settle down. Uh, brother... Kelechi. Uh, brother Kelechi. We will go for that. Yeah? We will face him. We will go for that. Okay, ma'am. Look, madam, sometimes I don't understand you. Look at, look, look at my face. I am telling you that this guy came into the meeting and fought us. And you are trying, you are praising me. For what? No, 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 see, madam, I've taken up to here. I have taken it up to here. But I don't know now. Make it come here and ask her why you do now. I don't know. What do you do to now? He's coming. Brother, they said the police from your hand. What's happening now? Why you? Why are you going to get it there? They said that they do meeting. How we won't want to carry this office? Another level. I did not beat anybody. I only slapped the guys that insulted me. What kind of lie is that? Yeah? Who insulted you? We just told you to leave the office since you're not part of the meeting. So why won't I be part of the meeting? Because what was the meeting all about? Yes, the meeting is all about how to improve this empire. And you think I hate this empire? Or you think you have the interest of this empire to act more than I do? But I don't do. Uh, what do you do? I'm a staff. I'm supposed to be there. Um, uh, staff. But I will you. you. You don't see a face in this man. My person will not go find you. There's no final. Eh, uh -huh. now we we'll settle. She has money on the first one. You can work. Oh, they work like brother and sister now. Madam. I have gotten it up to here. Why this boy? Why this your personal assistant? Here is an office and not an hour pack. Why me? Hey. Come on. Guys, let's get out of here. Not many people to know. Eh? They don't carry everything for my head now. But that it's an alive bit then and now my head and everything. If I don't be there now. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but they just left even when you did not dismiss us. I'm sorry about that. It's fine, but one more thing, please. Stop calling me. Hey, But you waste too long. Okay, call me. Okay. And 
they work for my papa. Especially that we go away with my coming. Now I put four months of money on. What is this? They will get a good piece of And I don't do anything. She, you, and the people will be passing away. And I won't do anything. I only get more than I won't do anything for you. Good morning, sir. Uh, brother, what's your make I do for you? I want you to go through these documents carefully before signing them. I don't know what's in the inside though, and I know what's in the inside. Yeah, that's why I said you should read before you sign. Yeah, I know Sabi read. Sorry to ask her, but you get eye problem. Like, do you have problem with your eyes? No, I know they pay me. I know Sabi read. You can't read. No, but I don't know anything inside. So how have you been signing all those things you told me about? Eh, then go bring a code, you see, eh, madam, sign up, we won't buy equipment for the complaint. Eh, eh, they will say, make you sign here, I will sign. Jesus Christ. You mean you sign without reading or understanding what you're signing? Eh, I decide. I decide, I decide, I decide, I like this. Eh, brother, what do you talk? Please, can I see any of those things you signed? No, they're not there. I'm Bosana, they will cannot come out. You mean you've been signing things you know nothing about in this company? Hmm, they will cannot come out. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, brother. They cannot come out. They won't buy equipment for house, they won't buy equipment for everywhere. Equipment. I ask you for the last time. I need all those documents our child has been signing. And what do you want with them? That's none of your business. Let me have those documents. I see. Well, I don't have them. The documents are with the manager. Let me have those documents. And I said I do not have them. I could change them. I could change them. I have. Mr. Manager, good you are here. I went to your office, but you weren't today. Hmm? So why were you looking for me and what can I do for you? I want to see the documents you'll be giving to our child to sign. Look at this guy yo. as the manager or the owner of the empire. Eh? Yeah? You know you know nobody. Nothing. Yeah? Guy, you they cross boundaries, so forget that thing you acted in the boardroom the other time. You see, if you do anything now, I am ready for you. Like, I don't understand. He feels he's more than everybody in this company. But Mr. Manager, he didn't say anything wrong to you. He only asked for the documents. Who invited you here? I hate repeating myself, and I won't say it again. For the last time, I want those documents. If you like, say it one million times. I will not hand them over to you. 
So what are we going to do now that he has taken all the documents from us? I really don't know yet. But first, I need to teach him a lesson for laying his filthy hands on me. So what are you going to do in that regard? I'm afraid he might uncover all our secrets. I have done that already. I see. <laughs> what have you done? The police are already on their way to the office to put him where he needs to be. Oh, <laughs> smart move. All right, I'll be in my office while we wait the arrival of the police. Sure. I've collected the documents from the world. Hey, you mean say the grief give you all the documents? How can you pity pity them? No. At first he refused, but I forcefully took it. Yeah. But now I smell foul. Ah! Uh -huh. Why they go and laugh for me fly foul and die inside this uh, office now? They don't know say that you here in the office. Now here be the deep place where I found the play. That's not what I meant, man. Ha! Da! You are the cliche, bro! Ha! What do you call me now? These people have been conspiring against you. Ha. They have been stealing from you. Ah! They are not fitting my money now. All my money they for inside bank. Be, they go inside bank go collect them. Let me make you understand. Now they made you sign so many things that's really right. Like they come and tell you they need money to buy something, you sign the check, mm -hmm. they end up eating the money without buying anything. Hey. That has been going on. Buddha, you mean so those people want to send it? Now my money did it? Yes. Ah, why now? But no cause for that, man. I want to investigate more. I need more evidence. Okay, brother. Anything we want to make you do on me, eh? I mean, they don't take what they don't take. Don't sign anything again. Before you sign anything, make sure I'm on it. Okay, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. And God will bless you. God will bless you away. I talk as it that day. My spirit has helped you. My spirit tell me say, give a walk. People don't say, walk through the day. You can go for somewhere. I don't know so that everyone will help me. Oh. Hey! Jesus say. Ah. Hello, Mr. Chijukia, Mr. Kimichi. Hello. Hey. Hello, hey. Mm -hmm. There was a serious fight today. Thank God you guys were not around. If you see the serious what that happened in this office today, between uh, my me again? Yes, and the manager. What happened? It was a war. But we beat him mercilessly. Our manager was fainted. He ah. beat him up. There was blood everywhere. He even broke his head. Blood. Hey, okay. Come let's go. What are you doing? How are you? Welcome, officer. How are you? Um, we are police officers from the state um, command. Um, we, are, we are here to see your manager. Okay, officer. Okay, now we need to make a good call. Okay. Please make it happen. Where are you going? There are two policemen there, is that said. They said they won't see the manager. Alright, no problem. Just don't worry, I will find him, okay? Okay. Alright. Just go back to your phone. 
officers, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I am Daniel, the manager of this company. I am the one that invited you. Good. Um, we got your call, and that's why we are here. I am um, Inspector Chile, and here with me is um, Inspector Victoria. Like you know, we are from the State Police Command. And where is the person to be arrested? Let me take you to his office. Good. <laughs> Men are outside. They're here to arrest him, by the way. Ah! Uh -huh. Well, listen, he is here to uh, arrest him, but. Yes, ma'am. What do you do now? I have no idea, ma'am. Not so that the kind of person, because he do not do anything. I don't know. Where did they? When I was coming here, they were taking him away, but I guess they will still be around the premises. Premises? The premises go As in, around the compound. Uh, Okay, they did that. Eh, uh, they should be, yes, yes, ma'am. Ah, what's in the one of them now? Huh? No, so they didn't carry them, but they switched them to carry. I don't know, ma'am. But we can go and see what they are up to now. Move, move! Gentleman, now! Meaning what? That is not our plan. Release him! For what? For what? He is not guilty. Why do you Why? want to release him instead of arresting him? Why? No, he invited us Officer, to take him. this man out of this place! Move it! You cannot arrest an innocent suit. What yes. is going on here? Officer, officer, let's go. Officer, move him! Can we leave here Officer! Now? This officer collected by Look! Officer! Just said I should go. That I'm innocent. Eh, uh, Tango say they don't leave you. Who be that person? Where gather he leave her? He can't gather in kidney. Join her. Can I go call you? Call call police for a station for you. That's the fool, madam. This boy assaulted me again, ah. so I have to call the police to put him in his place. You said I make you go by assault. You don't go by assault. He said assault, insulted. Can you shut up and I'll have to talk? Oh yeah, go put that for my mouth make her talk away now. Eh? Put that for my mouth make her talk away. Eh? You eh? Me and you, who go very soon, who go know who gets this place? Whether now you employing me or me, I employ you. You go talk and now, nah? You go talk and uh, hope there no day. Make you follow me. Make you go Ireland for inside my office. Yeah? Your own, you don't have plenty. You feel like say, now you can't get this place now. Madam, he's and turning this place to, to he's turning talk. this place to Aboro Park, bro. He's turning this place to Aboro Park. See this so you know where you don't like me, oh. Hey, when are they listening to you? See them all. You don't see that? They don't walk out. Eh? Yeah. This is good. They be past me, oh. Yeah. Sorry, I no vest. Make make I go talk to her. Whether you go be here again, eh? Brother Danny, why you come go for call police for brother Mbadi? Why? Well. He came to my office and requested that I hand over the documents to him. But I refused. And next thing, he started fighting me and beat me up. He dragged me to his office and forced me to hand over those documents to him. Now you make you call, call police for me. You know whether now me send I may go bring the paper. I'm sorry, ma. I didn't know you were the one that sent him to collect those documents. <laughs> that paper where you don't want him out. What is this? Why you don't want to give my trap? Nothing. It's just that I don't like the way by the way acts as if he's the manager or the owner of this empire. I am the manager of this empire. And I, Daniel, remains the manager of this empire. So I demand some respect from him. Hey, but Daniel, but you don't say your body to the horse. Your blood in the in the hotel were well, no good. And uh, no call police for another, another person again, no. Anybody do anything, call them in now. Uh, you supposed to tell me before you do anything now. You no good. Yeah? 
Uh, no worry. I'm going to talk to Brother Maduya. Yeah? Now, you, you better talk to him. Here is an office, not our park. Hmm. I wonder why you chose that house to be your personal assistant. Why? Hmm. My daughter, we are sorry for leaving you so. Death took us earlier than we thought. I want you to understand that the manager and all the staffs are evil. The only one amongst them is Mbadiwe. He is the only one that has the good heart to stand by you. I want you to make him the CEO of the empire. That he will have enough power to fight them. Uh, Papa, what do you talk natural? He don't they help me oh. He they help me where where? He they help me they do many many things. He they help me they do the they see the bad bad thing where where they happen. Now true. Now a good person. Uh, for what you talk, I go make a the CEO where you talk. Now good person. I know see now a good person. He nice where where oh. He nice where where I go do and papa. Good. Now I know you and the empire will be safe. Mama, why you not leave me now? Why you not leave me now, 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 so soon? I miss you now, well, well, oh, now. I day alone for this world. I no get mama and papa. And I no get brother. I no get sister. God, why me now? Everybody plenty for this world. Why come you say, now, now, me now? Now, this song can they happen to now only me day. Eh? Ah, what did this child do that you're beating her like this? Who will you be? I'm waiting to carry on my company. <laughs> okay, uh, please. I, I didn't come to quarrel with you. Bro. My name is uh, Mrs. Okaf. Okay, I I am looking for one Mr. Agnes. Uh, Miss Agnes. Uh -huh. And uh, this is the third place that directed me today. I am Agnes. Oh! Ah! Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Is she your daughter? No, my daughter. Ah, how old is she? Mado! Na so so question, you can't come. What? Come! You go see Rodo, make you go. Sorry, don't be angry. I just... How old is she? Na 22 years she did. What's that come on? Just grow, grow, grow like bal balloon. Get up, get up! Which kind of hala be this? I go count them. Agnes, Agnes, look at this. Look at this mark. Are you seeing it? Agnes, she's my daughter. I've been looking for her. She's my daughter. Onye. Is that not your name? What is her name? Her name is Onye. This is wickedness now. How can you be hard on a fellow human being like that? How can you be that heartless on a, on a girl like that? Uh, eh? Madam, I know I am wicked. But please be straight and tell me why you're here. If it is something I'll consider, eh? And I'll put it into consideration. Agnes, this happened 22 years ago. 
We were still very young. I got pregnant when I was in secondary school. And the man that got me pregnant then is my husband now. So when I got pregnant, we knew that our parents would throw us out of the house. We have to run to Nkan in Enugu State. We stayed there for nine good months till we had our daughter. In fact, at that point, our parents have declared us wanted. When they waited for long, they thought we were dead. They've even forgotten about us. So after we gave birth, we had to continue our education. We had no option than to carry her to an orphanage, St. Teresa Orphanage, to drop her there. Because at that time, the situation at hand couldn't have been suitable for her. She could have suffered a lot, so we had to go and drop her at St. Teresa. They made up our mind to go back to our family. On going back home, our parents were so happy. See, not because they thought we were dead. It's a secret we kept between us. We never talked about it. Having it in mind that we will still go and find her when we are stable. So then we continued our education, finished our university, then got married. And when we got married, we couldn't have another child till now. And having her in mind, we began to look for her. I have gone virtually everywhere before I was directed to this place. Madam, from your story, hmm? it is just because you are unable to conceive. That is why you came to me for your so-called... No, 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 it's not possible. This is my first blood. Our first child. It's not possible that we, were, we would have forgotten her. Okay, man, man, man. Just that we've been looking for her since. I gave her, say I gave her, I gave her, I put her back. See, you directed me here. She's, a, she's my blood, my first blood. How can I forget my own child? I, I only say I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you for raising her. I, I'm, I'm not being ungrateful. I appreciate you for raising her from that time till this age. It's okay. Oh? It's okay. Madam Kiyo. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Who am I to judge you? Ah. God bless you for me. I also have a story to tell. Well, after five years of marriage without a child, my late husband and I decided to go for adoption. Back then, we were living at Nkan in Enugu State. Mm. So we went to the orphanage. And there was a lot of process. We signed a lot of papers. So after signing the papers, we took a Olini home as our child. Just one month of bringing her home, I took in. Wow. I conceived and gave birth to my own child. But it was from that time I gave birth to my child that the hatred for Nine began. Not that I really wanted to hate her, but because we were barely managing to feed, mm. there was nothing. In fact, the, the sofa was so much. Mm. We were managing to eat, so I couldn't imagine feeding my own child and feeding her mm. so that is the reason all the hatred started hi it's okay i'm not here to judge you i understand exactly what you're saying god will bless you for what you did in that situation i understand even we we were just naive we should have taken we could have taken her home our parents would have accepted her we were taking care of her, but you know how naive we were secondary school students that had their future ahead of them. All we were seeing was that future. Please forgive me. Oh. So is you people that gave her the name Oninye? Yes. Oh. Oninye! Oninye, oh! Ma. 
Go. This woman is not your mama. May she be your real mama we born. You listen that this woman bought me. I have to take you over and see your father. I'm sorry. Uh, Agnes, thank you for what you have done. Follow me to the car, okay? I have to appreciate you. Let's go to the car. Onye. Please. Let's go. Let's explain everything. Onye. Please, I'm sorry for all I have done. Hmm? It's not like I hate you. I love you with all my heart. But in a situation, you know, I see people how they take manage. Make me feel where to go job. Eh? Sorry, eh? eh? Sorry. 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 Madam Q, mm -hmm. take care of her. Let's go. I will protect you in the car. Nobody knows tomorrow. You cannot tell what tomorrow brings. Childlessness. I'm going to be a father. Yes, sir. I am going to call a father. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We are going to be called mom and dad at last. Oh, thank God. Yes. Uh, uh, please. I am waiting for you people right away. Okay? Um, but before your arrival, I'm going to do something. I'm going to say something. What do you want to do? Oh, never mind. You will find out where you are. Arrive, okay? Bye for now. Bye. Ah. Oh. Rebecca! 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 Yes, Chief! Oh. Chief, you called me. Yes, 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 I called you. Uh, please, go to the kitchen and prepare the best meal ever, okay? Okay, Chief. Oh. Chief, you sound so excited. What's the occasion? <laughs> yes! Excitement is understatement. I am excited. Please go and get it ready, okay? I will you. Okay, go. I will you. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, hold on. Chief. Um, call us for me. Okay, Chief. Come on. All right, Chief. Hi. Chief for girlfriend. A father. <laughs> it's only God. Oh, oh yeah. because we had thank you. You're welcome. As your father. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're most welcome. You're welcome. You're beautiful. You're my jewel. My precious daughter. You're welcome, okay? Hi! Good of them. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Sweetheart, thank you so much. Um, listen, I love you. 
I want to appreciate God Almighty for a day like this, for keeping us alive to witness this day. Maybe you might not understand why I am laughing. It was that I, if you look so excited, this is why I am excited. I also want to appreciate my dearest wife for standing with me, for all her efforts bringing back our daughter. Thirdly, I want to thank and appreciate our daughter for staying alive for us. And lastly, I want to thank you both. I love you for your hard work, dedication, and working for us, serving us well. Thank you. God bless you guys, okay? And um, the girl you are seeing here is our daughter. <laughs> it's our daughter. We lost her long ago, many years, when she was just an infant. And to, glory, to the glory of God, God brought her back to us. And that is because we've never lost hope. We never desist from praying mm. and believing in God. And this is it today. God has brought her back to us. Honey, you're right. Yes. <laughs> you know, we never gave up. We're always in prayer. Um, my dear, this is our daughter. Her name is Onyoka. You're welcome. Our only child. So I want you to accord her all respect in this house, okay? And uh, please, it's my, our only daughter. Please. The heiress of Chief Okafor's empire. Mm. And I want you all to accord her with all the respect needed. Yes. And the love as the empress. Mm. Please, have I made myself clear? Yes, yes or no? God. God. <laughs> This is your house, mm. oh. You see this one, this beautiful girl, is our cook. Her name is Rebecca. Auntie Rebecca, <laughs> You are her boss. Call her by her name, Rebecca. Uh, I'm not my boss now. I'm not carrying boss now. She needs to make not carry me boss cup now. Okay, okay, I will, I will explain to you later. Call her Rebecca. I'm not going to go up. She's in me now. Oh, I'm going to call the job in here. Okay, I'll talk about that. Uh, this one is our gate man. That one that opened that gate when we entered. His name is Nazo. That's it, Dad. Thank you, Snow, Madam. My daughter, in this house, you are the order. And nobody will call you by your name except I and your mom. Papa, how can I have a man? I'll be my girl, your girl. Oh, a woman herself, the girl. Yeah, but that one, your mom. Talk will about that. You that. <laughs> but nobody will try to call you by your name. They will call you. Madam. If they die, they will be fired. I hope you heard me clear. Yes, sir. Yes, so she's your boss. Okay? You can go back to your. Right, thank <laughs> and, you. Uh, I know you like it. Oh, okay. What's that? They walk again. Enjoy yourself. Thank Rebecca, you. also enjoy yourself. Thank okay. You. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's my one. Uh -huh. Hey! Oh, my mama. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my mama. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, come here. 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 I am your father and she is your mother. We are very sorry for abandoning you all these years. As a matter of fact, the situation as at that time was beyond our control. Please have a place in your heart to forgive us. <laughs> Papa, I know you the things when you talk of. What? Is anything happened to my daughter's hearing? 
No, honey. The only thing is that she does not understand our kind of English. What she understands is PG English. So, she didn't go to school, even up to secondary school level. Jesus Christ. What kind of cruelty is this? What I'm saying in a sense is that you forgive us. You forgive us. Mama and Papa. Abandoning you. Mama and Papa. A hard beat to believe, say. My mama and my papa get money. And then they stay for this kind of house. I did that place they suffer. When I leave me, Madam Agnes, they beat me every time. See me now. She I, I for cry as I see you now. I best. I not go free cry. All oh, the tears in my eye. He don't dry finish. I don't cry all day for a house. Eh? Oh, for go go carry me. go give one mama and papa. They for love me now. Eh? And if he be say, they for no be to now avoid to now do that table. Oh, now just talk say, he go fear no go let to now. Oh, now go go carry me. Go give them. I so far. Sorry. I so far. They don't give me food. Now so so one cook and they walk and they sleep around twelve. Wake up at four. So so beat. I go the train, go the fresh water. They travel the fresh water. Every time they, they beat me. Now only once night they, they give me food eat. Sorry. Eh? Yes, sorry. Problem not there. I don't forgive you that. Yes, sorry. I'm so sorry. Papa, don't cry again. Don't cry again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive us. What you now do now? I don't get us now. I go forgive you now. I don't say this as now. I go to eat anything when I, I like. Uh, I go to sleep anytime when I like. Nobody will come and pour me water there. Go no, no, water no. for night or for morning. Nobody will do that thing. See, this is your house. Everything here is your house. Oh, oh come on. Papa, no cry again, yeah? Sorry. Give us. Forgive us, please. As for food. Mm. You eat any kind of food you want to eat. And I pray again. In all your life, you will not suffer again. Yes. From now until you grow old, you will never suffer again. Mm -hmm. We've made money for you. We've worked and everything out for you. Whatever kind of food you wish to eat, just say it. Provide it. Yeah. Even if you want to eat it ten times a day. You eat chicken. You don't tell when I eat chicken last so. You will eat it. Yeah. Even ten times a day. Your dad and mom is capable of providing them for you. Okay. Yes, yes. We love you. Sorry. And please okay. have a place in your heart to forgive, forgive us. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Ah. We'll come back home. Thank you, Mama. I'll be happy now. I'll be happy I now. Now I go sleep close by. Because before, if I sleep, why I go there open? Because I don't know whether that out of time, I mean, I don't know where they come. No, nobody will try that again with you. Okay. Nobody dares to mess up you. Yeah. You are my joy. The only daughter I have. Welcome, I love you. Okay, welcome. Love you. Papa, no cry again. Yeah, we'll cry again. Welcome. Welcome. Bye, bye, bye. Mama, cry again. I don't cry, Mama. You try to cry. Um, sweetheart, we must do everything within our powers to give our daughter the best of education, please. Yes, we have to start from the basics, my, my dear. Um, at least let's get a lecturer or a teacher that be teaching her at home about uh, how to read and write. Okay, right. on how to read and write. Someone will teach her that this is A, this one is B, and also teach her how to write them. You're I think that's the basic we have to do first. You're correct. And I also suggest we we get someone that will, we, will take her through the basic ethics of life, like how to walk, talk, dress, even how to eat. I'll get on that tomorrow. I have someone already I'll call so we can start off on that. That would be fantastic. Please 
Let's go to bed. No, it's late. <laughs> Let's go ah, to bed. It's late. No one knows tomorrow. You cannot tell what tomorrow brings. No. Um, I called you here to make an important announcement. Uh, the two persons sitting before you. Uh, our daughter's uh, handlers. And uh, I want you to get acquainted with them, okay? Thank you. This is Harry. And this is Amaka. Harry here is uh, our daughter's uh, home teacher. Amaka here is to take our daughter on ethics of life. Please, I want you to accord them with all the needed respect. And if I get any complaint from them of any hostility, I will not waste my time to fire anybody that is involved. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. You can go back to your duty post. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, Harry and Amaka. Yes, Chief, sir. You are welcome to our humble home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So please take my daughter as your sister and make sure you work on her. Sure. Okay? Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody. You cannot tell what tomorrow brings. Nobody. Some people think that life revolves around them. Life has a way it gives us lessons. Oh, and God, man, no be God, no be God, man, no be God, man will never be, never be, man, no be God, man, no be God. I thank God, man, no be God, no be God, man, no be God, man will never. Thank God, man, no be God, no be God, man, no be God. Yeah, every action gets its consequences. After the race, we're gonna count the miles. Yeah, the rejected stone can be the cornerstone. That's why I say, look for the news tomorrow. Life be like standing fan, sometimes it's gonna blow cold. Life be like standing fan, sometimes it's gonna blow hot. Thank God. Oh. 